Welcome friends, today we are learning about main concept of the oracle that is primary key and foreign key. What is primary key? Primary key constraint uniquely identify each record in a database table. What is primary key? The primary key constraint uniquely identifies each record in a database table. A primary key column in a table has a special attributes. It defines the column as a mandatory column. That means the column cannot be left blank. Second is the data held across the column must be unique. A single column primary key is called a simple key and a multi column primary key is called a composite primary key. The main function of a primary key in a table is to uniquely identify a row. We can define a primary key constraint at the column level or a table level. For column level, the syntax is given that is column name, data type, size and primary key. Primary key is a keyword. In table level, primary key and column name. Here we have created a client master table with fields client number, name, address and balance due. Client number is our primary key. That means client number cannot be left blank. This is the example of column level primary key constraint. Here we have performed the table level primary key. That means we have defined the primary key at the last of the table when we are creating a table. Next is foreign key. A foreign key in one table points to a primary key in another table. Foreign key represent relationships between two tables or more tables. A foreign key is a column whose values are derived from the primary key or a unique key of some other tables. The table in which the foreign key is defined is called a foreign table or a detail table. And the table that defines the primary key and is referenced by the foreign key is called the primary table or a master table. Here the syntax is given. In foreign key we can also define the foreign key. Here sales order is the, our table. Here I have created a sales order table. Order number is a primary key of this table. But we have referenced the client master table for the foreign key that is client number. And we have also referenced the salesman master table for the foreign key that is salesman number. We have used the keyword references and client master table and salesman master is our table name. This is the column level foreign key. Here I have created a column level primary key. Here I have performed. Here I have created a foreign key by using a table level method. We have to write a foreign key keyword at the last with references the table name. We can also drop the primary key constraint by using the alter table close. For example, Here table is altered that means primary key constraint is now removed from the sales order table. We cannot alter the client master table it means we cannot remove the primary key constraint from the client master table because it is referenced in the sales order table. First we have to remove the foreign key from the sales order table then then and only then we can remove the primary key constraint from the client master table. 